Hello everybody, this is Mario and Sonic Pwn here, and today we are going to be continuing our Let's Play on Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed. Now, first thing you might notice about this video is, yes, it is not HD today, because I have actually found out that if I put the game on a 800 by 600 resolution, then I can turn all the graphical settings up to high, so like all the water effects and sh um, shading and all this stuff like that, and all the um, lighting effects turned on, so the game looks really, really pretty. But it also runs at a solid, from what I can tell, about 30 frames a second. So I'm getting a much better frame rate, and it's really play, um, really well played, and you know, just really looks really nice. So we're gonna see how that plays out in this video, and hope you guys like it. I think it's much better because it gives you a better quality while having also a better frame rate. So I like that. But anyway, in this video, we are gonna continue on on this world tour. We're gonna be doing the first traffic attack in this game. This, these are really hard, honestly, so I'm going to put this on medium, because I can beat them on medium. Recommended ter character, I'm going to take Tails, because Tails, if you'll notice, has maximum handling. And the handling stat is probably the most important for this event, because basically, what you're doing is there's a bunch of cars on the road, and your goal is not hitting any of them. Basically, when, um, you have to go through checkpoints, and there's a ton of cars, like, we'll see it here. And there they are. Basically, when you hit those, they'll make you spin out, kind of like getting hit with an item. So, basically, you have to get to the checkpoint within the time. So, medium, it's not too bad, but if you put this thing on hard, prepare for a serious challenge, or especially an expert. I have absolutely not beaten any of these things on hard or expert. I'm sure if I worked at it enough, I could probably do it, but it's just, they're so hard, and they're not even that amazing. Like, they're an okay idea. I really don't have an issue with the idea of it, but I think that on hard and expert, they're just they're kind of too hard. However, on medium, they're quite playable. Pretty fun, honestly. Because, um... Basically, the green cars stay in their lanes, basically. You can see the gold cars there, they drift across lanes. And then up here, I think we're going to have our first blue car. Um, a little bit after the checkpoint. But the blue cars will actually chase you down. So basically, they'll try to block you. Those are the most annoying kind, and they will make you really mad sometimes. Especially if you're trying to do it on hard, they'll be like, I hate you blue cars. But anyway. Go through those extra little car gates to get extra time, which of course is really handy. And, come on, get hit with one. However, I got 35 seconds left, that should be good. Since we're on medium, ow man, I just hit two of them. Bad. Um, some of the later ones, uh, traffic attacks, they will start putting on items, which is really handy. Yep, there's some of those blue cars, just hit me. That's why you only want the super handling with uh, Tails, because you can get the really, uh, he has maximum handling, which is super handy for avoiding cars, although I don't seem to be doing very well at it. But as you can see, I'm on medium, so it's just, I still have plenty of time left, even though I've hit, like, four cars, which means I would have already lost pretty much on hard. <laughs> it's just the difficulty ramps up so much from medium to hard. It seems like it ought to be a little bit less steep. It, ought, it seems like hard ought to be expert, and expert shouldn't exist. It's basically what it seems to be on these uh, traffic attack engines. I hit another one. Darn it. Oh, well. At least we're winning. We should be able to complete this mission. I'm going to be really annoyed if we can't complete it. If, if we don't win, I'm actually not going to probably re-record it, just because you'll you'll see the idea, you know, you don't have to watch me win, necessarily. Get out of my way! I'm doing terrible. I'll fully admit that. I am doing terrible on this mission. Oh, come on. This is, okay, final wave, so we're going to win. We're going to win. Wow, one second left on medium. Are you serious? That was terrible. Oh, well. At least we completed it. At least we completed it. That's what I'm happy about. Got some more XP for Tails there. He's almost a star rank, so that's nice. But you can tell on that track, um, obviously that's not even the most graphical tinted track, but just, everything just looks kind of nice. I really like the way it looks, and there was a really good frame rate, so. And yeah, we are going to be continuing on and doing the, see, we got an option of boost challenge or race on my favorite track. Hmm, which one? Race. So we are going to be doing a race on the Skies of Arcadia track. Rogue's Landing, this is my favorite track in the game. We are going to be doing this on Expert. And, as it is Guys of Arcadia, we're going to be playing as Vice. He is awesome on this track. And let's see, we're going to want to use Balanced, because this one you do want better handling on this track. Um, so, we're going to be using the Balanced mods. He is Star Rank, so I've unlocked all the mods for him. And I found out, actually, when you get to them in Star Rank, they'll actually unlock, uh, unlock kind of like a super mod that gives them, like, a big, a bunch of one stat, specifically. So, that's kind of interesting. Come on. Missing all my boost starts. There we go. I got a level 1 boost. Um, I think I vaguely explained the boost start, but now I fully understand it, basically. When, as soon as you see the, um, like, for instance, the, it says get ready. When the screen goes black, as soon as it comes back on, press the, um, RT button, and you'll get first boost. And then, on the same thing for each of them. So, like, when the, um, three, the two starts to come up, press the RT button to do, uh, get the second boost start. And then when the one comes up, same thing. So, basically, you have to press the acceleration button every time the numbers come up. 
It's more confusing than something like Mario Kart where you just hold it down from uh, two, but it also lets you get a bigger boost when you have more skills. So basically, the, everything about this game, um, this is not to bash Mario Kart or anything. Don't get mad at me about bashing Mario Kart. I love Mario Kart. It's fun. But um, everything about this game is just more um, complicated, more real, uh, well, not really realistic, but more like actual skill needed, whereas Mario Kart, you only need some skill, and you can kind of win a little bit by luck. But this game is a lot more skill and a lot less luck. So, you know, you can still get your all-star move and come back from, like, you know, fourth place, but you're not going to come back from, like, first place just with your all-star move. They're not that insane. Which I know some people don't like um, how the all-star moves are kind of toned down for this game, but I don't know. I really like it kind of. But anyway, you can see on this track, it is awesome. So basically, you running around from all these little different um, sections of islands. This is from a game called uh, Skies of Arcadia. It's an RPG uh, originally on the Dreamcast. It's uh, ported to the GameCube. I'm not really much into the RPGs, so I probably wouldn't buy the game, but I, it's highly rated. So if you're into RPGs, you can look it up. You know, I've heard it's a pretty good game from uh, reviews and stuff like that I've seen. And it looks pretty cool. Basically, the deal with it is um, Vice, the character I'm playing as, main character, uh, he's a sky pirate. And you have to uh, fight the evil value in Empire who kind of wants to, you know, destroy the world and awaken these evil giants and stuff because, well, RPG, and they all have the same kind of storyline like that. <laughs> There's not really a lot of variations with RPG storylines. That's another reason why I don't love them a huge amount. There are some I like, for instance, like Amari and Luigi RPGs because they're just so insane. I love those things. But most of them, I'm just not really a huge fan of the RPGs genre. It's just, yeah, it doesn't really interest me. But you can see here, we're going into this awesome uh, boating section. Whoa, the bridge just got destroyed. I didn't even notice that before, the bridge just got destroyed. But anyway, you can see all these, like, um, sky pirate ships flying around all over the place. But on the third lap, they blow up the area, so you actually have to fly across the finish line, which is really, really creative and really cool. And there's just there's like this giant battle going on. It's just so much stuff going on that I'm looking at. And there's tons of awesome flying sections. And yeah, I get Vice's All-Star. Epic. Unfortunately, his All-Star is honestly one of the lame ones. But hey, it's a free boost, so I'm going to take it. And ooh yeah, Super Mega Laser Cannon Fired! Oh, and just in case you're wondering, I found out that actually that Mega Laser Cannon is not in the console version. Because the, um, they thought it would have too many frame rate drops when that happened. So basically, they only put it into the PC version because they figured, oh, people's PCs can run this. But yeah, so I really like how they put that in there. It's really, really cool. It just makes it more interesting to watch. And we are going to win this race. We are poning Danica Patrick and everybody else behind us. First place on Expert Class. But that's how I like to do it. So, there we go. Um, we are going to end off this video here. So thank you to everyone for watching this video. Okay. Make sure to like it and comment on it. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a part of this Let's Play and all the other ones I'm doing. And, whoa, I just noticed that fire in the background looks really nice on these settings. Anyway, so, yeah. See you next time. When we will continue on in World Tour Mode.